like right on the other side of the bushes. And I'm like, what the frick is he doing? I caught him like, I'm going to say about five times already, plus a couple. Yeah, I've caught them. So, you, you know, you just stop what you're doing and go right outside and walk around with a flashlight. Dead serious, you're going to catch them, I'm telling you. Because they got to stay certain radius of you. Oh, they have, really? Jamal, don't they have to stay certain radius of you? Like a certain distance from you or a certain a certain distance close to you? I believe so, but you can talk, yeah. you can, look, like the people who are doing this to you, if you really walked up to them and talked to them, they'd talk to you. Uh-huh, that's what I know. Yeah. Yeah, they don't think nothing of it, like. They might not even know, they might not really even, really know what they're being told to do. A lot of them do, a lot of them know they're supposed to be scaring you, they know it bothers you, they know they're stalking you. Because stalking is unwanted contact. They don't even have to be following you to be stalking you. They can just come outside and wear a certain color f- only for you to see. And that's 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 a form of communication. That's unwanted contact. That's stalking. A lot but some of them think they're doing it like some like with Donna with the arson stuff, they think she's under investigation. She's not under investigation. They're pretending like she is, so they can stalk her. Right. And right. some of these people might think, like, you're actually a criminal and they're making your life hell because you did something wrong. When you're not a criminal, you're, you're, you're a victim of a crime. You know? Right, yeah, I know. And, and so, like, as far as how far they have to stay away with, from you with the radius, I, you know, it's really up to the person that's doing it. Because this is my whole thing. Who's to say one of these people aren't going to snap and try to, kill, try to kill the person they're following around and who's to say they won't break down and help the person? And kill, kill... These people... That's the funny thing about it. What if one of these people snapped and killed the people that were paying them to follow them? Yeah, I know. She's getting hit with directed energy weapon. I'm being more stalked. Now, why they would hang around outside Caroline's house like that? They must have been hitting me with directed energy weapon. Because why would they hang out at the back of the house where I was? Because where I would sleep was the back of the house. Where the bathroom was was the back of the house. You get me? And so one night I was helping Caroline. She was going for surgery. And I had to give her this special, she had to be rubbed down with this special soap uh, twice before she go to surgery. And uh, it's like uh, antifungal soap type of stuff, and it, you had to scrub them, and you know, it's a major surgery. And so um, I went over there to help her, the back of the thing. And when I got done, the weirdest thing was the dog was bugging me to go out. So I quick let the dog out, and right enough, there was a the guy. It was the same place that had I had run across a different guy three other times before. You follow me? So what he was doing towards the back of the house, right behind the bushes, I have no idea. I have no idea. It doesn't, you know. But I caught a couple back there once, too. Now, then I could see they might have been trying to look in the back window where the kitchen is, and that's more south, I mean north, than it would be, you know, east. But still, you know, I caught them, I walked right up to them, and they started acting like monkeys in the tree. Like, they was looking at the beads on the tree. And I'm like, right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, what? what's that? What, what is it? A, a berry? You're looking at the berry like a monkey? And they, they just, like, lowered their head and walked away, you know? Because they got caught. I walked right up on them real fast. But um, the guys scared the shit out of me. Like, man, the one guy, I, he didn't, I don't even know where the hell he came from. There was no way he could have come from. And I didn't even hear him walking on the leaves. There was all leaves out there. I didn't even hear him walk on the leaves. It was so creepy. Hey, hey, I want to ask you a question, though. Like, this is a thing. This is a conclusion I'm coming to. Like, we were talking about last night. Um, last night, we were speaking, and I was bringing up the thing about Joe Colombo. And he, had a, he, had, he was running the Anti-Italian Defamation League. And he was doing protests against the federal government uh, for because of the some of the business decisions that the federal government was involved with, they were going out of their like some of the people in the FBI were going out of their way to try to cripple the to, to try to cripple the businesses of Italian business owners. And I was look like I was looking back to like the seventies 
And if you look at the movie like Casino, like how they were flying planes over Joe Pesci, and then they killed that one, they were stalking one of those mob dudes in Las Vegas, and they ended up killing him. And then, like, you look at movies like Goodfellas, how they had helicopters and stuff. And then even in New York City, like, with John Gotti, like, like the feds used to sit there parked in vans all the time, like, listening to them and stuff. Like, yeah. like it seems like if you really think about it, the, the, like, the mafia wasn't being gang-stalked by the federal government. Like, like we're being gang-stalked. But at the same time, I bet you some of these mob guys, like, I bet you some of these mob guys were being gang-stalked. Like I bet you some, I bet you some of those people in the FBI were jealous of the people in the mafia because the mafia had like better cars, better, more money, like more women. I bet you some, yeah, yeah. yeah, I bet, I bet you some of those FBI guys were jealous, and they actually were gang stalking some of those mob guys without them knowing, you know, what was going on, like causing disinformation, like putting information out that they were like working for the feds, and you know, like fuck, like they probably got some of them, they probably got some of them killed like that. Um, there's, there's a lot of that back and forth, but, um, you know that a lot of them were given disinformation, you know, that they knew they were listened to, you know, that they knew they were being followed. So they used to give them disinformation and get other people killed. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. Like, yeah, they do. like on the phone. <laughs> Like yeah. if they knew if they knew their phone was tapped, they were probably saying stuff on the phone yes. that wasn't yes. true, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes, and they would lead them to the other people that were their enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that was a that was a fact. That was a fact. That go go dig in more. <laughs> go dig in more of that stuff. Yeah, there was wars going on with that stuff, and then then they you know. They knew that they sent um, the feds over to them, and then there was a war back and forth with families, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you look into that stuff. It's pretty amazing. But yes, they are. And I literally, I'm not kidding, I had a federal uh, guy, and I, I, and he was a fed, his girlfriend out here. I know what they look like. If I saw their picture, I could tell you who they are. And they would be out here with their... Um, there, um, they had one of them high, what is it, a uh, uh, Mercedes Benz at, um, RV van, real, real nice one, and they park it right out here on the street, and they be here for three weeks, and then I thought they were gone, and they were parked in the bank parking lot back behind me. Now, let me tell you something, people who have that much money that own something like that, they're not parked over here, okay? This ain't a nice enough town. Okay, nobody wants to spend what? Uh, uh, with them being all over town here, parked outside of City Hall, they were here for about three months. They don't hang out here in town for three months with a Mercedes. No, 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 no. Top of the line, no. They can go anywhere they want to go in Florida. They ain't going to be hanging out here. We got springs, we got uh, oceans, we got everything you can think of. They're not going to be hanging around downtown like mm -mm. So I was freaking out. I think I remember talking to Robin uh, one one couple of nights on that they were right outside here. And I was watching them. They go walk the lake, come back. And then, I, like I said, I thought they were gone and they were around the little corner. So these were feds. These were feds. And, you know, they were parked outside here. So you know they were listening in on me. So that's these are. yeah, yeah that's, that's that's fucking crazy. Like how people like 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 people can follow people in broad daylight, and you, it'll be on YouTube and people don't even know what they're seeing. Robin, you online? Yeah, you know, when you. When